This weekend, I'm going to see my family who all happen to live in the one area of Sydney. Which is great because it means I can knock off like five or six families in the one day night visit. But it does mean taking a whole bunch of stuff with us because the whole day night out with kids, it's practically a weekend away. I'm driving the Mazda CX-9 top of the range Azami. It's a seven seater, all wheel drive. Let's see how it did on my family weekend. First up, the seven seats, because that's why you're looking at one of these. And they go up and down really easily with barely any effort at all. I can fit in here quite comfortably. Now I am five foot four, so I can usually fit into tight spaces and be quite comfy anyway, but it will fit in children and small adults like moi. Now you would normally find air vents in the back row in a seven seater, but the CX-9 is missing those. And look, the breeze is quite windy from the second row air vents, but I would still like to have my own back here and you will find that in a Kluger, a Pathfinder and a Santa Fe. But you've got your own speakers back here. That's a bonus. We've got two cup holders back here, two in the second row and two in the front row, plus a bottle holder in each door and a bottle holder back here. One important thing to look for in a seven seater is how much boot space there is when all the seats are up. And as you can see, the CX-9 has a sizable amount. If I do need the seven seats, I can still fit in grocery bags and school bags. The best bit about the boot, of course, is this. I am living for auto opening boots at the moment. They are so helpful, especially when you're buried under children and grocery bags. With the third row down, the boot space is really big. And this is how I fit everything for my family day night out. We've got body boards, scooters, beach bags, food bags, changes of clothes. See, I told you it was like going for a weekend away. You name it, it'll fit. And with all the seats down, it's massive. You could fit Gosh, I don't know, a cupboard in here and it would still have room to spare. Okay, onto the fun stuff because you get into the CX-9 Azami and the first thing you notice is that it feels luxe. Everything about this car on the inside is seriously well designed. I've got the cream leather seat version, which I'm particularly partial to. I just love this color and they're heated first and second row. I don't know how it will fare if you get spray tans, but I gave that up years ago, so I'm safe. The steering wheel is leather and feels really great under my hands, which I think is a key point because you get into your car every single day and if the steering wheel feels fabulous, it's gonna make you feel fabulous. I'm loving the glossy finish down the center console panel, which continues along these side doors, just really ups the luxe factor. I'm also quite happy with this spot down here to throw my keys and my phone. It's just super stylish and it feels like I'm driving a much more expensive car. I think the sunroof though is quite small for a car this size and it's also right up the front, whereas I think you need to actually have it down the back near the third row, which is what the Santa Fe and the Pathfinder both have. So how does it drive? Really beautifully. It's smooth and quiet, but there's enough power to get me up the hill and in my house I test all cars on nice and swiftly. It's got a slight pull, but it's much lighter than the Nissan Pathfinder. And the thing Mazda's really nailed is that it doesn't feel like you're driving such a big car. Honestly, when you're doing the school run and going to work and home, it just feels like you're driving a luxury vehicle. It's high off the road, so it makes me feel safe. And I really love that feeling. There's nothing better than being in an SUV, driving and feeling safe with kids in the back seat. You just can't put a value on that feeling. And the steering handles really well. It's still got a big turning circle of 11.8, which is similar to other cars in its class. But the steering is so easy that parking, three point turns, all of that is a breeze in the Mazda CX-9 and not an issue like it can be in, for example, the Pathfinder. 
For my day night family visiting trip, the drive was really comfortable. I mean, we're in the car for an hour and it was 33 degrees outside, but the car has tri zone air conditioning, which means there's two zones in the front seat, one zone in the back seat. And it just means I could set the temperature for us in the front seat and set a different temperature for the girls in the back seat. I also really love the way the seats hug you just the right amount. The whole thing just made for a really comfortable journey. It's also got space. My girls are four and six and they can jump around and swing in here like monkeys. You can also adjust the second and a third row until you've found that perfect legroom ratio so everyone's comfy. Plus, they love having their own armrest with their own cup holders and there's just less bickering in the back seat when they've got enough space. And as for any parent, silence is music to my ears. They even have enough space when my six foot one husband is sitting in front of them. It is pretty high off the ground, so give them a bit of extra time to get into the car, but it's the perfect height to do up car seats. So the kids love the car, but they did take points off for no rear entertainment screen. Now, I don't mind if there's no rear entertainment screen, but I know that it really helps some families. And the top spec Toyota Kluger and Nissan Pathfinder both have one. The CX-9 has six airbags with the side curtain airbags extending to the third row. There are two Isofix points in the second row, plus three top tether points and two top tether points in the third row. You can fit a whole lot of children under five in this car if that's what you need. Like all Mazda SUVs, it comes standard with auto emergency braking. So weirdly enough, the CX-9 doesn't come with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. It does have its own tech system, which is easy enough to use. I can sync my phone quickly to it and I can play my Spotify through it. I'm really getting into Brockhampton at the moment. It's a simple enough system to work out, which is great because I hate spending time trying to figure out technology. Outside, the car looks pretty sexy for an SUV. It's sleeker than most large seven-seaters, way less boxy than the Kluger or the Pathfinder, and Mazda has worked really hard to get it to a standard where people like me are pleased to drive it all the way across Sydney to see their family. And I think that's telling, the proud feeling you get driving this car. It looks good. The Mazda CX-9 is like the Toy Story of family cars. It's the car that keeps on giving. It drives like a dream, I love the luxe interior, and there's enough boot space for a growing family. I give it eight and a half stars out of 10, taking points off for no car play and no air vents in the back row. My kids gave it eight woodies out of 10. They didn't like the fact that it doesn't come with a screen, but they loved all that space and that their cousins fit in the car with them.